All right, the subject is plasmids, but before we talk about plasmids, we need to get maybe a little bit of an introduction or an orientation on bacteria cells. Here's a picture from your book. It represents a bacteria cell. Uh, by bacteria, I mean any prokaryotic cell. I'll just say bacteria cell. It represents a bacteria cell, and do bacteria cells have chromosomes? Yes, they do. Are they inside a nucleus? No, but they do have well, how many chromosomes does a bacteria cell have? Every bacteria cell has a whopping one chromosome, just one. And it's represented by this red ribbon here. And so this, this diagram correctly represents the idea that this bacteria cell has one chromosome. It also correctly represents something else. If you follow the red ribbon all around, you see, my goodness, it's a circle, yes. Bacterial chromosomes are circular chromosomes. So every bacteria cell has one chromosome that is a circle of DNA, a circle of DNA. What is not well represented by this picture, and I really couldn't do it actually, is the size of that circular chromosome. Let's look at this actual photograph of a, uh, of a bacteria cell. A very unhappy bacteria cell, actually a very dead bacteria cell. What did somebody do to this poor little guy? They hit it with something that popped it open. And what is this spreading around in the fluid around the bacteria cell? It is that one large circular chromosome that's kind of spreading out in the fluid around the bacteria cell. Is it a large circle? It's a very large circle. And so if you looked at an electron uh, microscope picture of a bacteria cell, that could kind of, uh, kind of uh, look into the bacteria cell. Maybe the bacteria cell has been sliced. You see the bacteria cells, maybe if it's this big, inside would be a large wad of DNA inside that bacteria cell. And that large wad of DNA would be that one large circular chromosome. And so bacteria cells have one large circular chromosome. And uh, yes, they do. Now, what's the deal with plasmids? Well, this little yellow guy over here represents a plasmid. What is a plasmid? Uh, it is similar to the chromosome in some ways, except uh, it's a tiny little circle. It is DNA. Plasmids are DNA. They're very small circles of DNA, also found only in prokaryotic cells, only in bacteria cells. And again, by bacteria, I mean any prokaryotic cell can have plasmids. Uh, and uh, so what good are they? Well, they've got genes that are helpful in certain environments. And bacteria cells can multiply these plasmids and pass them around and so forth. And so uh, plasmids serve a useful function for the bacteria cells, also serve a very useful function in biotechnology, as we'll see. Well, what's this picture down here? Well, apparently this arrow indicates they are plasmids. Uh, small circles of DNA uh, found only in prokaryotic cells. You say, well, professor, how do you know these are plasmids and they aren't the bacterial chromosome? Very simple. They fit in the picture. Uh, the field of view of an electron microscope is very, very tiny. And uh, this is it right there. That's the field of view of an electron microscope. Uh, and here's the field of view of an electron microscope. Uh, do you suppose <laughs> that circle could be spread out? and look like a circle and fit in the picture, not a chance, not a chance, not the entire chromosome, but the plasmids can. They're very small circles of DNA, um, uh, also found like restriction enzymes. They're found only in bacteria cells. So restriction enzymes and plasmids are found only in bacteria cells. Why are they helpful? Because they can be extracted from bacteria cells, modified, changed up, and put back in, but that's continuing uh, on with the story. Uh, so that is our introduction to um, plasma.